If you want to know how to make a vehicle locking system like the jailbreak one, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a vehicle locking system like jailbreak so like if, if you own a car and you lock it yourselves no one else can enter it except for you so this is really cool and if you're new to my channel make sure to like and subscribe turn on that notification bell to never miss out on any video i make and if you like this video give it a like and if you don't like it just give it a dislike so i get honest feedback for my videos and i will know what to change and overall if you want to become a member and get some products click the blue join button down below and you'll find out every single thing about them so enough talking and let's get straight into the video. So now you need to implement your vehicle. So we're going to go to the toolbox and we're going to search car. And we're going to be choosing the Tesla Roadster. Yep, this one, because I like this one. And we're gonna click the toolbox away. We're going to go over here. Place it right over here. Boom. Now I'm going to rename it to Tesla Roadster because it's all useless stuff. So go to the drive seat. And disable this. Click it, please. Else you're just gonna... You, you, it will not work. So now that is pretty cool. We're gonna be using proximity prompts. We're gonna be implementing a proximity prompt right now. Proximity prompt. We're gonna be adding a script. A string value. And a bool value. So name the string value ownership and name the bool value locked like that simple dimple anyways uh now you can do so we can immediately start off by programming this by saying script the parent and that's not what we're actually gonna do we're gonna do local uh, local seat is because it's script the parent the parent local proximity prompt is equals to script the parent Local ownership is equal to proximity prompt dot ownership and local locked is equal to proximity prompt dot locked. Now we can do seat colon get property changed signal occupant like that. We can do colon connect. We're going to be making a function out of it out of it by saying colon connect function like that and now all you can do is just if seat dot occupant then proximity prompt enables it to false because there is someone in the seat already so what we're going to be doing we're going to be disabling the proximity prompt so no one else can enter the car whilst you're in the car that sounds pretty obvious else proximity prompt and enables it to true so if there's no one it's just going to be set to true now we can do script the parent or actually proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function player like that and now um what you can do is if ownership that value is equals equals to nothing so if there's no one owns the car and uh and then oh, over here and locked that value is equals equals to uh false then so if there's no one, no one has a car and the lock is off, you can get in the car. So you can do ownership.value is equal to player.name and seats, colon sits, player, the character, the humanoid. Like this. So make sure to copy this. Copy. Else, uh, else if ownership.value is equals equals to player.name name and locked the value is equal to true so if, if if it is your car and the lock is on you can get in because it's your car else if ownership that value is other than the player dot name but and uh locked the value is equal to false so if it is not your car but the lock is off you can get in because the lock is off you're like hijacking a vehicle else if 
script or ownership that value is other than the player that name but and locked the value is equal to true so if it is not your car but the lock is on you cannot get in we're going to be do going a replicated storage we're going to be adding a remote event we're going to be calling this the failed um failed vehicle why not and then over here you can do game dot replicate the storage dot remote event well failed vehicle call on fire client gonna be firing only to you we're gonna be firing it to the player and an argument with entering failed like that got it so this is the script over here okay you got it you can go add a nice screen GUI you can I'm just gonna call it the um, well, what would I just failed entering inserting a text label with the holder there you go and you can add in a local script but first we're going to be customizing the text label really quickly so anchor point point five comma point five position point five comma zero comma point two comma zero actually uh, eight now the size I'm going to just do zero uh, I mean 750 because jailbreak has that too one and we can do this vehicle is locked ask the owner to unlock it there you go so set text uh visibility to off go into your text label and in your other script in the car change this to colon get service replicated storage like that So in here, and that is a mistake there. Oh, over here, you can do that dot on client event call connect function. And we've sent a player and an argument. So we're going to be doing player and argument. So now we can do if argument is equals to equals to and shrink failed then so if the argument is just failed then we're going to do in script the parent that visible is equals to true and we're going to be waiting two seconds to then set it to off again there you go so you can just click that away already and i'll be showing the script because i was a little bit fast here you go this is the script Okay, three, two, one, boom. Um, so that works for now. So we're gonna be clicking play. And now, if we try get in the car, and oh, I forgot something. You want to go to proximity prompt, interact, change it to enter, set the require line of sight off, and the object text, we're gonna be holding one second the object text is going to be um, Roadster. And there you go. There you go. So now, if we try this out. Uh, Roadster, enter. And as you can see, we're in the car now. And this car may give a lot of errors. I mean, not my problem. But if you go into the car, you can see that over here the lock is off and the ownership is on my name so um let me see so i believe if you would set the ownership to some random and you enable the lock and you would click play you should not be able to get in and else i have a little bit of an error so if you try get in as you can see, we cannot get in, but it's also not firing the remote event. Uh, I mean, I think it is firing just incorrectly. Um, I don't think you have to catch the player on an argument. Uh, I, I think it's like this. So let's try. Yep, as you can see, this vehicle is locked. Ask the owner to unlock it. 
And as you can see, if we try, we're not going to be able to get in. As you can see, ask the physical is locked, ask your owner to unlock it. But now, you may be wondering, newbie, you did this on the server side. I want a button. Yeah, don't worry, I'll go I got you. So I'm just going to set it back. And for this car, this car uses a chassis tune. So you want to get the a chassis interface, and you want to drag it into start your GUI. And uh, is it in here? Oh, but now I'm doubting that. Um, so this was one way to check, I believe. Hmm. I'm not really good in um these types of thing, uh, things. But I think I got this. If I just drag it in here, I think if you just if you would just add in a text button. And just customize it the way you want. I'm just going to do it fairly quickly. I'm going to do lock. I'm just going to be doing it pretty uh, easy for now. So I believe you have to put it in the stock uh, thingies. There you go. And I'm going to be making it blue. Because it's cool. I'm going to add in a UI corner. I'm going to call this the lock button. There you go. You can add in a local script. Yes. So you can do a uh, script that parent that mouse button one click. What is that? Oh. Call a connect function, and you don't need anything in it, in the parentheses. So now you can just do if script the parent the text is equals equals to lock, then, um, what we're gonna be doing over here, over here. So if it is locked, then we're gonna do script the parent the text is equals equals to lock, locked. As you can see now, the car should be locked, and else, else if script the parent the text is equals equals to locked, then script the parent the text is equals to lock. So this is a like other way around thingy. So you can drag this back into the plugins section because that's where it came from. I believe you just have to put it in there. But now you're not done yet. So you need to make another remote. Well, um, let me see. You want to rename this to a remote event. Over here, rename it to a remote event. And in here, rename it to remote event. Got it? Yes. So now we're going to be refiring game the replicator storage dot uh, remote event. Game colon get service replicated storage dot remote event call a fire server and we're going to be firing the server immediately with a locked because we're going to be locking the vehicle and over here we're going to be lock there you go so let me see so in this script uh, over here you want to do game call on get service Replicate a storage dot remote event call on uh, dot on server event call on connect function uh, player and the argument. So if argument is equals equals to locked, then we're going to be immediately locking your car. Um, so let's see. Um. Before you do that, you want to do locked roadster and lock roadster. Uh, for multiple cars, you can just put in the argument and it would do it for a car, I think. Um, let me see. So if it is on locked roadster, then script or locked for the value is equal to true. And else if argument is equal to equals to lock roadster then lock that value 
that value is just false. So over here we're locking it, and over here we're unlocking it. So this should work, I think. So then uh, ownership that value is equals to player dot name, and over here too. So let's test this out in a two-player section. So as you can see, I'm in a two-player section, and if I try get in this car, I can. And now if we click lock, as you can see, my car is locked. So now if you would try, go Tesla Roadster, Drive Seed, Proximity Prompt, Locked. As you can see, it's on. And if you click this, it's off. So if we click this on, you can see the ownership is on my name. If we get out and get my other player. So I'm going to go to my... I think it's over here. So as you can see, I'm moving here. And if I try to get in, as you can see, I can't. So let me get this player on my main monitor. Okay, so as you can see over here, the car is locked and I can get in because it's my car. And why is this on lock? That's pretty weird. Oh, because the main holder is locked maybe. Okay, well, it's locked now. If, we, if I get out and I let the other account do it, if I hold E, I cannot get in. If I would get in this car and turn the lock off, I'll try fix that soon. Uh, let me see over here. And now I should be able to get in because now the lock is off and I own the car now. So now I can be, and sorry for that. If I lock this car now and be very stinky and I let the other one try get in, he can't. This vehicle is locked. So that is super cool. So let's try and fix that one locking error. I'll try that. So what you could try, what you could try and do is script that parent attacks is equal to lock. Just so, but I think the script initializes every time and that's not really what it's supposed to do. But we can, um, we could try that out. And else it is not really a big of a problem. See it locking. And now the car is locked. Um, try to see. As you can see, it's locked now, and I can drive around. Oh, that car is really fast. Nice if I just get it to movement. Yeah, it's gonna reset it. I think if I would do this, get out, and re-enter, it's gonna say lock again. Yeah, it's not really big of a problem because it only um, put uh, only locks it when the text is to lock. So if you did in fact enjoy this banger video on my YouTube channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And um, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out. Yeah.